Whoa, what's going on in this Pokemon Center? Pika Pitla? Is it closing? There's Nurse Joy. Hello, everyone. Hello, Nurse Joy. We saw all the boxes. Hello, Nurse Joy. Your Chansey is as radiant as you are. You know, I have a baby Happiny that you might like to see. Happiny, come out and say hi. Happiny! What an adorable Happiny! We were wondering, what's with all the boxes, Nurse Joy? The center isn't closing, is it? Oh goodness, no! We're getting supplies and food together for a small town that doesn't have a Pokemon Center. That's a good cause. Is there anything we can do to help? I'd love some help. Could you please bring me the largest boxes you can find from the storage room? I need the ones that can hold the most supplies. No sweat. Don't worry, Nurse Joy. We'll help. Happy. <laughs> Why? Thank you. Chachi. Coming. The storage room is just back that way. No sweat. These boxes look so similar. Do you know how to find the ones that hold the most supplies? Well, not exactly. But it's for Nurse Joy. Anyway, I think we can just look at the sides. Okay, like the area of the side. But wait, that's just for one side. That wouldn't be the space inside. So how do we figure out the inside of the box too? Ada, Ada. 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 Help. she'll know what to do. Hi everyone, what's up? Nurse Joy is packing up supplies. She asked us to bring her the boxes that will hold the most, but these boxes look pretty similar. We know about the area of a side of a box, but that's just one side. How do we figure out how much can go inside the whole box? You're not too far off. Since you know how to find area, you're on your way to finding how much can go inside the box. It's volume. So volume is what you fill up. Look at it this way: the amount of space a solid object takes up, like a ball or brick or sugar cube, is its volume. When we're talking about filling something up, we're also talking about volume. It can be filling a hole with dirt, filling a glass with water to the top, or filling a box with Pokemon food. Got it. So in all of those examples, the volume is how much it will hold. So if we figure out the volume, then we can figure out how much stuff can go in there. See, that doesn't sound so hard. No sweat. Nope. Especially when you think of it like this. Volume is measured in cubic units. Think about those cubic units as little cubes. Maybe they're cubic centimeters, cubic meters, cubic inches, or cubic yards. Oh, so those little cubes can go into the box, right? You got it. Let's say they're cubic centimeters. All those little cubic centimeter cubes will fill up the box. When you can figure out how many there are, you can figure out the volume. Try it. Looks like twelve cubic units. Right on, Don. You get the idea. Now that you know what it looks like. To find the volume of a rectangular prism, all you need to know is its length, width, and height. For a rectangular prism, the formula for volume is length times width times height. Let's say this rectangular prism is five centimeters in length, six centimeters in width, and ten centimeters in height. Well, five times six is thirty, and then thirty times ten is three hundred. Almost. Just remember that you need the cubic unit. So, oh right, the volume of the rectangular prism is 300 cubic centimeters. Excelente. Now to compare, let's look at this rectangular prism. Its dimensions are 15 centimeters in length, 10 centimeters in width, and 2 centimeters in height. Okay. 15 times 10 is 150, and 150 times 2 is also 300. Its volume is 300 cubic centimeters too. That's right. You can have a prism with different dimensions but the same volume. I think we're ready to try this out. Will you help us? You may need some scratch paper to figure out these questions about volume. Look at these two shapes. Which one occupies more space? You got it. The shapes are arranged differently, but they occupy the same amount of space. Can you help me figure out how many cubic inches will fill up this small box? Try dragging and dropping them into the box shown. Then click on your answer.
All right. You fill the box with eight cubic inches. What's the formula for finding the volume of a rectangular prism? Bueno! To find the volume of a rectangular prism, you multiply the length times width times height. I want to find the volume of this rectangular prism. It has a length of 10 inches, a width of 2 inches, and a height of 5 inches. Right again! You multiply the length by the width by the height to find its volume. Try dragging and dropping the cubic meters into this large box. How many will fit? Great job! You filled the box with 60 cubic meters. What are the dimensions of the box? Let's look at the cubic units to find the answer. Great! You found that it is 5 meters in length, 4 meters in width, and 3 meters in height. If I need to put 80 cubic feet of supplies in a box, how many boxes will I need if each box has a length of 2 feet, a width of 5 feet, and a height of 4 feet? Bueno! You multiplied the length by the width by the height to get 40 cubic feet. You need two boxes to hold 80 cubic feet of supplies. I think we've got the hang of it. Can you help us figure out which boxes to use? Look at all these boxes. Can you help us figure out which ones to use? You may need some scratch paper for your work. Ready? Go for it! How many cubic feet fit in this box? You can drag and drop the cubes to fill up the box, then click on your answer. Yeah! So then what is the volume of this box? Click on your answer. Great! This box has a length of 2 feet, a width of 4 feet, and a height of 3 feet. What is the volume of this box? Calculate the volume. Then place your answer on the label by dragging and dropping numbers from the number row. Click check when you're done. All right! I think we'll need some bigger boxes. This box has a length of 4 feet, a width of 3 feet, and a height of 5 feet. What is the volume of this box? Calculate the volume. Then place your answer on the label by dragging and dropping numbers from the number row. Click check when you're done.
How about this one? This box has a length of six feet, a width of three feet, and a height of three feet. What is the volume of this box? Calculate the volume. Then place your answer on the label by dragging and dropping numbers from the number row. Click check when you're done. Yeah! Which one of these boxes is bigger? First, calculate the volume and fill in the labels. Great! Good job! Awesome! Click on the biggest box! Awesome! Great! We found the biggest box! Now, if we wanted to fit 158 cubic feet of supplies, how many boxes will we need? Awesome! Okay, let's bring these boxes to Nurse Joy. She'll be so impressed! Uh, Brock? Where exactly are you? Speaker! Uh... -huh. uh... <laughs> Looks like I boxed myself into a corner. <laughs> Why, what do we have here? Looks like you found some boxes for me and a bit more. Uh, Nurse Joy? Uh, special delivery! <laughs> <laughs> Count the number of cubes for each shape and try again. Count the number of cubes for each shape and try again. Try again. Remember that cubic inches can be used to measure the volume of a box. Try again. Remember, to find the volume of a rectangular prism, you need to multiply its different dimensions. Try again. Remember, to find the volume of a rectangular prism, you need to multiply its different dimensions. Try again. Try again. Count the number of cubic units. Try again. Remember to multiply the length by the width by the height. Once you have the volume, then you can figure out how many boxes you need to hold the supplies. Try again. Try again.
Try again. Try again.